good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have brand new wwe action figure reveals for you guys pretty epic day of reveals i'd say didn't expect them you know i was out of town doing some things and they dropped the reveals on us so i figured i would make a video at the night time and then release it in the morning so you guys are seeing this this morning and i do apologize for that i was not at home to break the news and showcase everything but hope you guys are sticking around anyways let me know your thoughts of these reveals down below but let's go ahead and dive straight into it man got some pretty epic stuff going on let's start off with the ultimate edition target exclusive legends batista yes i said legends if you guys are looking at this figure we already knew we were getting it right we saw the render images we saw the i i want to say i showed you guys the prototype if i'm not mistaken but you guys can see here in package you got the white gear absolutely beautiful flashback batista before he had every single tattoo before he went hollywood this is gorgeous man world heavyweight championship the animal t-shirt this is the epitome of batista for me man this is one of my favorite ever moments in wrestling as a kid i think i, I want to say i was nine or ten when this happened he made his choice for wrestlemania he won the royal rumble and for wrestlemania 21 he chose to stay on raw defeat triple h you guys know the deal and it was just epic man they made it an action figure for him he has the thumbs up thumbs down it's a beautiful looking figure i love the head sculpts we're getting the smirky one's probably my least favorite they just i don't know what it is about mattel man they just cannot capture the smirking head sculpt i feel like they always butcher it somehow but i love the determined head i love the screaming head love the animal t-shirt wish it could have been like the ultimate edition and we could see front and back without velcro but that is the case you have the smackdown contract the raw contract all the interchangeable hands what a beautiful looking figure man you guys can see the different poses i love it a lot i love this figure i think it's going to be excellent you know it is what it is about the ultimate edition torso but it looks like batista's torso right it looks really good you got the red elbow pads on there i really like it i like it a lot the only thing that i really don't like about the figure like i know they wanted to keep it uniform with ultimate editions you know like like with the way their packaging is but i feel like the packaging could have done something extra i know they have the legends logo on there but it would have been really cool right to see like that brownish packaging in ultimate edition form especially if we're going to continue this legends ultimate edition i think it would have been cool to to change this one up just a little bit but I guess I understand it. What that Also, something that pops in my mind is it's kind of crazy how we don't have a ringside exclusive Ultimate Edition yet, right? I mean, I, people keep saying the Charlotte was a ringside exclusive Ultimate Edition yet. I'm not talking about that, man. I'm talking about something outside the box, something creative that would replicate an epic moment or something like ringside exclusives usually do. But this figure looks great. I'm all here for it. It's going to be an early contender for figure of the year in 2022 or at least Ultimate of the year. And I love it. I'm here for it all day. Batista looks fantastic. Now, if we're moving on to Elite's figures, man, we we got to get into this figure right here and we're talking about the elite series 93 seth freaking rollins i want you guys to analyze this very quickly because you i want you to look at it. i want to say it's his royal rumble 2021 gear if i'm not mistaken it is this ponytail man bun head sculpt with the mouth open it's kind of like a smiling slash i don't know it's it's not my favorite head sculpt i'll be honest with you it's not my favorite head sculpt it's not a bad head sculpt i think the hairline's solid the beard looks really good i hope it comes with an interchangeable head with the hair down but i like that you know it's something different it's it's not just the same repeated head sculpt, which I like, but if you pay attention to the leg mold, man, they actually beefed up Seth Rollins' legs for the first time ever. He actually has some musculature added to his legs, something that collectors and figure collectors alike have just been clamoring for over and over again. They actually gave him some thicker legs. He's got muscles on his legs now, and they didn't give him the open knee pads, not the biggest deal ever, but you guys can see there the SR logo, and the kick pad mold is different. They actually didn't do the same thing they've been doing for Seth Rollins forever, where he has like that weird cut in his kick pads they actually gave him some like full functioning kick pads like AJ Styles but they gave him a different mold this is a new mold you guys can see the texturing and stuff I don't know how I feel about it, it it's I, I love the extra legs I love that how the legs have some musculature to them I love the torso and the way it looks with the chest hair and stuff head sculpts okay I still see the skin peg on the right gloved hand but I still like the Seth Rollins a lot I'm interested to see what else he comes with but I don't really care for the for the fur jacket okay it's it's a great sculpt and everything but having it rubber here it looks like it's gonna have elite what 83 Sasha Banks jacket type kind of stuff going on where you like remove a piece and you can pose it around while his arms are out in the jacket very lame technology I, I don't like that whatsoever he's got to stand just like this I could be completely bumfoozled and this thing could be some sort of cloth material but to me it looks like it is pre-posed and it is rubber which I cannot get behind whatever 
So uh, that that is bummerific. I don't like that it's you know rubber, but it still has a really good mold on it. I will say the texturing and stuff is there. It's a great sculpt and stuff, but we've seen it with Io Shirai. We've seen it with Sami Zayn. We've seen it with multiple figures in the past. They could have made this cloth somewhere. There could have been some cut somewhere to give this guy cloth. And especially Seth Rollins being a prominent character, I think he should have been the one to get the cloth. But you know what? That's besides the point. Still a really good looking figure. I like the, the thicker legs. Looks great. I like the gear that we're getting. You know, it's it's a solid gear. Not my favorite gear by any means, but it's a new gear, which I like. And the new leg mold and the kick pads is really cool. And I'm excited to see where we go from here with newer Seth Rollins releases. Now, if we move on, guys, we also have a look at Elite Series 93 Cesaro. Now, this figure is very interesting to me. I like the way it looks a lot. I love that. I want to say this is the rest. WrestleMania match, right? Is this a WrestleMania match where they both went head to head here at WrestleMania? I cannot remember here, but I don't remember. I, I thought he had like a track jacket like Matt Riddle, like it was super tight, but it has its cloth. It looks damn good. I'm not going to complain about cloth, even if it's not accurate. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I just remember him having the tight fit like track jacket that had a zipper on it. But this looks sick AF. The black and yellow gear is something that we've been clamoring for again. And he has the large knee pads, but those are pretty accurate. I love that we have this, like, new... I can't tell if this is, like, Cassius Ono boots or what's going on here. But I like the black and yellow. I like that, you know, the molds we got going on. He's got pretty much his standard Cesaro body. Like, this is a sick-ass figure, man. We've been waiting on a Cesaro forever. So this is a great addition to our collections with Cesaro. I, I have zero complaints, except for the head sculpt. I mean, we've seen this head sculpt 20 five times now it's about time for a new head sculpt but uh maybe a pissed off or like a stern face would have been good for cesaro but it's still a cool figure i like it can't wait to have it in hand the cloth jacket and everything looks great and i like the attire so i'm all for that i just hope those those boots down there aren't basic style boots i hope they are you know ankle pivot and stuff like that but the cesaro does look good moving on guys we also have a look at t-bar i think this is t-bar I want to say it's T-Bar. I, I, it's, it's not. No, Mace is the other guy. This is T-Bar. T-Bar has a Triple H Elite 23 torso going on. He has like the shield style legs going on, but he has taller boots, so it is a different mold. It looks like they're using the Sami Zayn crotch and legs, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say that is the case here, but they are in black. You have like the Retribution logo going on. Black gloves. He gets another cloth little deal entrance gear going on. Long, tall boots. So this, this looks to be the Sami Zayn leg mold. I could be wrong about that. It may be a tad different. The legs may be a little bit different. But I want to say this is what we're getting here. He's got the black gloves, black boots. Head sculpt looks okay. He's got the mask on there. Not removable. It doesn't look like. I don't know if he... I, I do believe he's going to come with an unmasked head sculpt to be interchanged. But he should have double jointed arms, all the good things. The figure looks cool. I just was not a fan of Retribution. But it is a cool release. And we are getting this. And I think we're getting Mace in Elite Series 94. Adding to that, guys, we also have Raquel Gonzalez here with the NXT Women's Championship. Her figure looks damn good. It looks like it can pose really well. It's got double jointed arms. I like the orange and black gear. The face scan looks pretty damn good. I like the title belt. I like the black tights. I like the black boots. Good molds going on right here. This looks to be a lot of new molds going on right here. And you guys will notice that her waist is like in the middle cut of her crotch piece. So her crotch piece is just like the lower part of her jeans. I guess it's because she wears high-waisted pants or something. But it looks good. I don't have any problems with it. I hope it doesn't look awkward when you articulate it. But I like what we got going on right here. Not a big Raquel fan, but really sick. Really sick figure going on right here. I like it. It kind of looks like the torso maybe a bit different in skin tone compared to the face and arms. But that could just be the photo or the lighting or the angle at which I'm looking at it. But the figure looks damn good. It looks like it's going to be poseable. And I hope the ankles are not loose with this guy. We'll have to see about that, but I like what we got going on. And then the last figure in Elite Series 93 that we're looking at, guys, is going to be none other than Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We have two different versions here. You have the regular in white and red, and then you have the yellow and goldish looking figure. And these look great, man. I like these a lot. Not my favorite Ricky the Dragon Steamboat head sculpt. I don't think it's bad. He just kind of has like a weird chin neck deal going on right there. But he's got the red headband. I like the double jointed arms. I like the torso. I like the formula they use for the guy. I like all the things going on with it. He's going to be very, very poseable. And I hope that he lives up to the hype. We even get a championship here. So I think Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is going to look awesome. And I'm glad that this chase variant is actually going to come to fruition. You got the full yellow there. That's going to be one that I definitely want to track down. And I love the dude, that yellow gear is so sick with the dragons on either side yeah that's a mean gear right there i like that this figure is going to be one of those underrated figure gems that nobody cares about but it's going to be fantastic so I, I look forward to the ricky dragon steamboat it looks awesome now if we move on guys we also have some more elites this is going to be the top picks elites and we have a look at the rock figure right here and the rock figure we already knew we were getting right he's got the blue tights he's got the rock jersey he looks really sick i actually like this figure a lot he got the sunglasses only thing i don't really care for is the head sculpt really wish they would have given him one of the ultimate edition head sculpts would have been a lot better i think because you know those are kind of hard to come by and i don't know i want to say he has double 
jointed arms. I'm pretty sure he has double jointed arms. So we'll get to see double jointed arms for The Rock. Love the blue and silver. Love the Rock jersey we got. Just really wish we got one of those Ultimate Edition head sculpts. It really would have completed this figure. Made it a lot more sought after, I think, had that been the case. I think that would have made this figure fly off the shelves had they given it that. It still is probably going to be sought after, but I think giving it that Ultimate Edition head with the yelling head or, or the people's eyebrow head really would have uh, added to it. I think that would have been sick AF, but The Rock does look good, and I'm, I'm very excited to have another edition of The Rock, a gear that we have not seen. We also have a repeat Elite of the Elite 85 Undertaker. We've seen this figure before, man. We've seen it completely. It's all, all the same. All the same top to have bottom. Elite Series 85 Undertaker. Apparently, this figure was super sought after, so they released it. Re-released it. He even has single jointed arms. He has the pinless legs again. It's all the same. It's the exact same. No double jointed arms or anything for this guy, so it is just a re-release of Elite 85, which... You know, if you missed out on that figure, this is a great opportunity to grab it. Now, moving on forward, guys, we also have another figure in the set, which is the red and black, or the pink and black. I'm sorry, what an idiot. Pink and black Rey Mysterio. Really like this figure. It does look like he has double-jointed arms. They didn't have any photos of him out of the packaging, I don't think. I looked for him. I didn't see him. But the, like, light pink and black is a sick gear, finally giving him a gear that's, like, different than just, you know, like these repeat sort of attires and head scans and stuff. I know he has double-jointed arms, which is great, but it is a repeat of the Elite 72 head which is kind of a bummerific. I really wish they would have put that basic head sculpt on there from the recent basic wave in the army green. But this is still a really damn good figure. Probably one of my favorite rays we've had in a while. Uh, the pink and the black just looks so sick. It's very subtle. It's just very nice, man. I think we're going to be able to make some cool fix-ups with this guy. White gloves, black and white boots. Should be really sick, but the Rey Mysterio does look nice. He's still getting the same damn shirt, though, man. Good God. And then the last few figures that we have to take a look at, man, we have some basics and some battle packs. And we're going to start off with the basics here before we get into the battle packs. And we have Basic Series 128. Now, I'm going to be real with you. This basic wave hits and misses. Now, this first edge figure, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's a man bun edge figure. And it just looks like these basic edges with the tight jeans and the skinny shirts just look terrible to me. I, I just don't like them. I think that the head sculpt's unique, but why is his man bun so small, dude? Like, Edge's hair's pretty long and thick. I don't know why his man bun's so damn small. I don't know if that's accurate. It just looks very weird in figure form, but if you want to make a promo Edge, uh, you know, a backstage version of Edge, he is smiling there, so they did retool some hair, give him a ponytail, which is kind of cool. So you guys know the basics are pretty much useless unless you're getting head sculpts and knee pads or trying to fill out the crowd or, you know, just give them to, you know, you just beat them up a little bit there, but basics are definitely lacking in details these days. But moving on, we do have Big E, kind of a, you know, kind of a plain release. You got the, like, the black and yellow gear. Same head sculpt we've seen over and over again. Now, this next figure we're going to dive into, man, is probably one of the worst basics I've seen in a minute. It is this Sasha Banks in this black dress style deal. And good God in heaven, man. It is literally just a plain women's body with black paint slapped over it. I will give them credit on the boots. I like the heels of the boots of the Sasha. But it is uh, just so plain, man. This is uh, this is just super plain. The hands look miscolored. The torso looks miscolored. This is just not a figure that I like very much. You guys can let me know. There's no sculpted details. No color variations. No great things going on with this figure. I think the head sculpt's solid. But outside of that, man, this one is a miss. I, I am not a fan of this figure. The hands look super robotic and weird on this figure. I don't know. You guys can let me know, but I think it's a massive miss here. Next up, we have a great basic, and that is this textured, nice-looking suited MVP. You even get the gold chain with the purple tie and the light pink shirt. This is a damn good basic right here. This is probably one of the basics of the year. You have the Elite 88 MVP head sculpt on there, a great suited body for your Hurt Business, for your Bobby Lashley's, for your just manager MVPs, for anything you like. This this MVP is very nice. Now, this is a basic that you want to seek out. This is one that you love to see. Not only the MVP is nice, but also you have Raul Mendoza and you have the Chase variant version. So you have the version without the face paint with the mask, and then you have the version with the face paint and the mask as well. So, you know, you can kind of create some goons there and you can have all your different stuff going on with those. I think that would be really sad. I, I like both these basics. These basics are hit and miss, I think, but the MVP and the Raul Mendoza really make the wave, I think, with all their molds and sculpts they got going on. But uh, that is uh, the wave of Basic Series 128. Now we're going to get into some battle packs. And these 
Championship Showdown packs, man. Woo, God in heaven. Starting out first with Drew McIntyre and Goldberg. We've seen this Drew McIntyre probably 68 times as far as the head sculpt's concerned. We've seen Drew, uh, we've seen Goldberg before in these pants, you know, open knee pads. It's, yeah. The, the gloves are all the way black. I don't know if that was accurate or not. It's just a very weird looking basic. That Drew McIntyre is just, it's, I would love to know how many basic Drew McIntyres they've made since Inception because I know that it's been a lot. It's kind of like John Cena at this point where there's so many that are so similar that it's just like putting me to sleep. Next up is Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford. They are in the blue gear. Would have been a lot cooler to get these in elites. And hopefully when they remake Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, they do way better than they did on their first go around. But these head sculpts are the same. You have some slight paint variation, which is nice. And it looks like they actually tweak their skin tones a little bit. I could be wrong about that, though. It could just be angles again like I'm talking about. But it's mainly all blue gear. But they did give Montez Ford a fade right there. So they're watching action figure surgery so we don't have to do it ourselves. So that's nice. And the last one is Undertaker versus Bret Hart. And this head sculpt for Undertaker is very cartoony looking. It looks a bit odd. He's got the teardrop tattoo. Looks kind of oversized as well. Uh, Bret Hart's heads. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. A lot of people crap on the Bret Hart heads. You guys can let me know what you think. But the Bret Hart and the Undertaker one is, I don't know, man. Just basics and championship showdown packs have been a miss for a very long time for me. It's very hard to get into them because it seems like they're missing a lot of details most of the time. And the only time you really get them is if it's like a great head sculpt that you just cannot miss or an accessory or something like that. But moving on to the last couple figures, and they really don't mean much. And the last figures we're taking a look at, guys, is the Top Picks Basic Undertaker, which is a repeat basic Undertaker of the, you know, the Wreck and Slam cycle. And then we have the Top Picks Roman Reigns that we've seen multiple times. I think it was a SummerSlam wave with the Wreck Everyone and Leave. Solid black, nothing much going on with it. It'll fly off shelves for the children. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video on all the reveals. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your favorite reveal from today. I thought that some of the stuff we got was excellent and some of the stuff we got was not so excellent, but you guys can let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Ultimate Tista looks sick. Seth Rollins Elite 93 looks insane. I like the Cesaro a lot. I like a lot of things going on, but at the same time, there are some things that I am not too happy about, which you guys heard all about that. But let me know what you think of all these things down in the comment section below, man. I think that is going to wrap up today's video on the wrestling figure reveals from yesterday with all the good stuff. But let me know your favorites from today, and I will like to comment with you down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. And don't cross the line like that. Sasha Banks basic. Woo! You cross the line. I've been